Hi everyone, this is Austin with Sun Fun Kits. Today we'd like to go over some of the new BMS mounting options and some of the new BMS options that will be coming out with our um, upcoming kit. So, in case you missed the first video, we had explained how we had redesigned our plate system so that it can accommodate wider terminal cells. As you can see, this area is now flat so the bus bars will fit perfectly inside and not give any issues. Uh, so with that being said, one of the feedbacks we've had from people is that some people really don't need the high amperage capacity, uh, a burst output. They just would like to have a lot of power in case they need it. But for the most part, they're not requiring 150 uh, plus amps. Um, they're finding their usual amp load is well below that. So to address that, we're going to be coming out with a 100 amp BMS. Now this will be compatible with our app and it will function the very similarly as the 150, uh, but it will be a quite a bit more affordable in that um, it will be designed for about 100 amp charges and about, I'm sorry, 100 amp up to 100 amp discharge and around 50 to 60 amp, you know, charging. So for normal use, like in a solar installation or when you have multiple batteries ganged up, this will work quite well. So. The 150, which is what we have commonly been using for most of our kits, will still be available. Um, this is the version 2 of it, which now includes uh, three total temp probes. So there's one temp probe built into the circuitry and two external temp probes. So you could have one for your case temp and one for your cell temp. And we will be um, you know, adding support for that in our app very shortly. Then moving on, we now have the 200 amp BMS. So this one's in unique in that it actually also features a heating port element, um, which basically means that you can have a silicone heating pad or rubber silicone heating pad, and the BMS will trigger it on or off based on the temperature within the case or whatever the probes or the internal circuitry uh, are reading. It also has two temperature probes, just like the updated 150. And what that will allow you to do is just get a better overall reading of, um, of your system. Now, the trays for the 100 and 150 are the same, but the 200 tray is larger to accommodate uh, the larger BMS. All three will still fit perfectly fine in the upgrade, updated V3 case. So it's very easy. So to demonstrate that, we're going to start off by putting on a 100, and then we're going to maybe switch to a 200 to show you that if you started off with your kit with just a 100 amp BMS and then realize that you needed more output, you could always upgrade it to the um, higher output amp. So we're just going to bolt on this, onto this, show you how that's done, and then we're going to switch to the 200. Okay? All right, so once that's in place, we just basically... I'm going to stop telling you not to use power tools because I've literally every video I have used a power tool even though I tell you guys not to so just be super careful. So with that in place you now have the 100 amp BMS in place. As you can see it's nice and sturdy. It'll fit just fine. Um, it'll fit the, the lids perfectly so everything will line up you know, without a problem. So um, everything is fine. Now let's say you decide I need more power and maybe I need the 200. So we'll take this lid off. We'll take that plate off and show you how easy it is to swap to the 200. Okay, so we just swapped that uh, 100 amp BMS out for the 200. As you can see, it is uh, lines up just right, bolts onto the existing bolts. And then we can put the lid on and we would have a 200 amp our capable Viet battery. So. so there you go. And everything will line up just the same way as it does for uh, the other ones. So you can then quickly upgrade your system if you needed more power. So that is the official SFK BMSs that we'll be supporting. However, it's just as easy for us to add support for other BMSs, such as this Dolly 50 amp. Now, normally we would not recommend such a small BMS for a battery, but if you're just 
having a very low uh, requirement for power, this is certainly an option that you could potentially do as well. Now, we won't have wiring harnesses for anything besides our official SFK series, uh, but it is possible for you to simply get something like this. And this is just held on with double side sticky tape, which is more than enough because uh, this only weighs like maybe three or four ounces at the most. So it's very easy for you to, you know, uh, go down to, to a very um, uh, low amount. And if uh, you just need a low amp draw, this would serve your needs perfectly. Uh, this coupled with an active balancer would definitely be something. The Dolly's balancing system is not really uh, our favorite. So that's just a little bit update. Let you know uh, about the upcoming configurators that we will have for the uh, kit options. You'll be able to switch between, um, you know, whatever amperage that you'd want. And when you're building the kit on our upcoming configurator, you'll just be able to choose whatever uh, needs that you uh, have. Uh, just be aware, the one difference when the 200 is it is limited to 24 volts. Now, we're going to be working with a version 2 of that 200 that will let you go up to 48 volts, so 4 in series. But right now, uh, both the 100 and the 150 can be wired up 4 in series, uh, but the 200 can only be wired 2 in series, so maximum of 24 volts on the 200. All right, thank you.